My name is Christina Baker. I'm a longtime KCU member and have been a captain at Betty Ultimate and Wicked Ultimate. Today I'm going to teach you the downfield defense basics. The goal of downfield defense is to prevent your player from receiving the disc. Effective downfield defense will limit the number of options for the thrower and hopefully create a turnover. Two things to keep in mind is where your thrower is on the field and where your person is compared to the thrower. Here we've set up a situation and the field is going towards the camera. Claire is going to be our thrower and Daka is going to be our defense. He has set up a flick force. Downfield, Steph is our offense and Jordan is our defender. Jordan is set up opposite of Daka, eliminating the space on the open side of the field. Once you are set up on your person downfield, keys to remember are to be on your toes, keep your head on a swivel, making sure you can see the disc, and you don't want to be right next to your, your offender or too far away. You want to be about an arm's length from your person. As your person starts to move and initiate their cut, you want to keep your hips square with their hips. In this example, Jordan is going to demonstrate the key to, deep, to downfield defense. The key is to make sure that you are drop stepping, keeping your hips in line. The drop step is key for the downfield, downfield defense to change direction. One thing you don't want to do, and this example is going to be shown by Steph and Jordan, is to commit your hip downfield and turn your body completely. We're now going to show you a couple of examples of effective downfield defense. Keep in mind where your hips are, light feet, and to take into consideration where the disc is. I hope you had some great takeaways from that video. Things to remember are to make sure you're on the correct side of your person, make sure you know where the disc is on the field, drop step and keep your hips in line with your person.